So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Well, the other day we made a little bit of gingerbread at home and we placed those little red cherries uh, on each one of the cookies. But I was wondering, are those uh, cherries, are they actually now real or are they fake? They do kind of look very artificial. So I thought maybe they were made of some kind of a gelatin substance. They were quite transparent and very, very sweet and it didn't taste like cherries at all. So I decided, well, I'm going to put it under the microscope uh, to find out. So I removed uh, one of those uh, cherries here and I placed it overnight uh, into a little bit of tap water to remove all of the sweet sugary sticky solution that was on the cherry and of course I had to eat the gingerbread it was very good uh, but I soon realized uh, that the uh, water started to change in color so some of the colors started to go off and I did a little bit of research and was able to find out that the name of the color is carmine it's a food coloring so yeah it's a pretty artificial looking cherry but after a few hours I could see that the cherry started to become less and less transparent and it also changed around in consistency so what I did now is, is I took a small part uh, of uh, the cherry I placed it on a microscope slide cover glass on top and I did a so-called a squash sample or a squash specimen what you do is, is you simply uh, uh, vertically press on the specimen um, you do not uh, press horizontally or you do not shift it horizontally to avoid any shear forces and this makes it thin enough uh, to be directly observed under the microscope and the first result was not very hmm, interesting yeah I did see that there were some structures there individual cells I could not see so well because it was all a little bit yeah, messed up I have to say uh, because uh, by squeezing uh, the sample of course um, you're also destroying the original structure a little bit but this is what I found then this was a strange thing um, of a different color and I wondered what, what could this be and I zoomed in and then actually I realized and maybe some of you also realize what this is and this is a dead giveaway as we say and from this point onward I was certain that this is now an authentic real cherry um, because what you see here this is the so-called vascular tissue um, these are cells that transport the water inside a plant and the spiral ring shaped structures that you see there um, this is called xylem and xylem is uh, the tissue of a plant that transports the water and those ring shaped structures they give the cells the strength so that they do not uh, collapse uh, when they transport water um, I started to pick apart the cherry a little bit and was able to actually see yes there is indeed a skin on the surface which I could peel off very carefully um, so I have done that um, and here now I did not squeeze it but I simply made a regular uh, temporary mount with a little bit of water as a mounting medium of course you always have to make sure that it's sufficiently flat so a little bit of water cover glass goes on top I put it under the microscope and then I was of course certain because what I've seen now is this very nice the individual cells uh, of the cherry yes let's talk a little bit about what we see here what we see is is primarily the cell wall the cell wall of plant cells is fairly thick you have to look very carefully into each one of those cells to see that there might be a little bit something that looks a little bit like a cytoplasm it does not seem to fill the full cell because I think the cytoplasm must have lost of course a lot of its volume uh, because it started to shrink when the chair was placed into a concentrated sugar solution now back in the day a few hundred years ago when people first started to do microscopy many biologists were very interested in the cell wall because at that time the cell wall um, with the microscopes that they had was the most prominent structure so they were kind of wondering whether or not the cell wall is actually the living part um, of a cell and maybe the contents are just yeah, empty spaces later on they did find out that actually the cell wall is uh, not the living part but the, the cytoplasm in the center of each cell is actually the metabolically active part um, of a cell so I was quite happy that even though after baking and even though after a whole treatment and coloring and sugar solution I was still able to see the most important biological structures here um, on this cherry so I can say now that it is a real cherry but do stay tuned because I did another experiment here we are comparing now the basically the cherry as it came out of the box with the one where um, I was treating it with water and what I tried to do now is, is I tried to convert the, the cherry back into its original state uh, by adding a lot of sugar and leaving it again overnight into a very syrupy sugar solution and then I found the following look at this 
behind is a very bright light i was actually able to see now the vascular tissue so it did become a little bit transparent as well and it almost looks like a little bit like the blood vessels but of course these are the structures where water is transported in the fruit well i think i'm gonna leave it at that now you can see with a little bit of processing and specimen treatment you can pretty much put anything under the microscope happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time bye bye